Good morning, Reeds Road. How are you today? I am so happy to be with you and be able to share the next few minutes with you. As you know, we have been having staff members and teachers talk to you about integrity and what that means to them. And this morning, we have a very special treat for you. You may recognize her as Mrs. Shank, one of our fifth grade teachers. However, today she is Alexander Hamilton. So, Reed's Road, I would like to welcome Alexander Hamilton to you to talk about what integrity means to him. Good morning, Reeds Road. My name is Alexander Hamilton, and there are a million things I haven't done, but just you wait. Just you wait. I've, I've been invited here today to talk to you about integrity, something very important to me. I'd like to dedicate this to my two good friends, John Lawrence and Zachary G. Good men, steadfast, steadfast and true, the kind of friends most people wish they had. Reed's Road, integrity. You know what I think of when I think of integrity? That founding father of our great country. You know who I'm talking about, the general. He was certainly a father figure to me when I needed one. Talk about perseverance. Talk about doing the right thing when the right thing is very, very hard. Well, that was my general. And you have to understand, when we fought the revolution, nobody thought we could win. Nobody thought we could win. How does a ragtag volunteer army in need of a shower somehow defeat a global superpower? How do we emerge victorious from the quagmire? Leave the battlefield waving Betsy Ross's flag higher? Yow! I'm glad you asked that question because I have an answer. You have to understand, none of the other countries thought we could beat England. England was bigger, stronger, had a standing army of professional soldiers with real guns and real fighting experience. And what did we have? A bunch of farmers and shopkeepers. And yet, we won. We won. We won. Talk about the world turned upside down. Everybody was in shock. It's all people could talk about the world over. But you have to remember, what was our motivation? Why did we win? I'm glad you asked. It's a good question and I'll tell you why. Motivation. Why were the British soldiers fighting? I'll show you. They were fighting for a paycheck, for money. But what was the motivation for us? Well, we were fighting for liberty, for freedom. That's a great motivation. But I'll tell you something, we had an even stronger motivation than that. We were fighting for our children, to give our children a better life. There is no greater motivation than that. So Reed's Road, when you wake up in the morning, I want you to ask yourself, what is my motivation? And let it be a good one. Let it be the best. There is no greater fight than to fight to give your children a better life. So let's do that, Reed's Road. Let's keep up the good fight. Well, now it's my time to go. Teach me how to say goodbye, Reed's Road. Goodbye and Godspeed. Mrs. Shank, I mean, Alexander Hamilton, thank you so much for visiting Reed's Road today. 
Reed's Road, Mrs. Shank is going to be retiring after over 30 years of service to our school. And it's very hard to replace a teacher that's willing to dress as Alexander Hamilton and talk to all of you on a video. So I also would like to thank her for her years of dedication to our school and our students. She is going to be missed. Reed's Road, I also know that this week begins a transition for some of us into all virtual learning. I want to encourage you and tell you that you can do it. I believe in you. This staff loves you. We're here to support you, and we are going to make it through together. Have a great week, Reed's Road. Talk to you soon.